In previous videos, we have discussed how anthropometry knowledge can be a useful tool in designing artifacts, tasks, and environments, and the databases that can be used in this endeavor. Unfortunately, the databases that are available may not be representative of the design's target population. Gathering new anthropometric information from a large sample of potential users can be an expensive and time-consuming effort. Therefore, it is important to find ways to synthesize anthropometry. For an example, Let's say we have a design in which we need the information on the leg lengths of the U.S. civilian population. The NHANES database provides information on the stature and BMI of the modern U.S. civilian population, but does not have detailed anthropometry such as leg lengths. So in order to design using leg lengths, we will need to synthesize an anthropometric population. One easy method of predicting a user's anthropometry based on their stature is to use proportionality constants. Drillis and Contini published a set of constants in 1966, which can be seen in this figure. Proportionality constants are ratios of anthropometry lengths to stature, and they are simple and quick to use. So, in order to find leg lengths for our n Haines statures, we simply multiply each stature with the Drillis and Contini constant for leg height. Unfortunately, people do not fit to proportionality constants exactly, there is some variability. Two people with the same stature may not have the same exact anthropometry. Proportionality constants are also less accurate at the tails of a distribution. Multiplying the 5th percentile stature value by a proportionality constant will not result in the 5th percentile value for that measure. Some other criticisms about the Drillis and Contini constants is there is no formal definition of the points of measurement. Furthermore, there are no data on the population that was used to determine the proportionality constants. This is important as some proportions can be affected by age, race, or gender. An additional weakness is the assumption that all proportions can be estimated by stature alone. Measures of breadth are affected by a person's weight as well as their stature. The answer population can be a source of detailed information about the relationships between different anthropometric measures. We can even use this information to calculate new proportionality constants by finding the population's average value for a measure divided by stature. For instance, if you want to recreate a proportionality constant for leg length, you can use trochanterian height, which is well defined as the superior point of the trochanter, the right femur of a standing subject. As with all measures in answer, this was measured consistently throughout the study. So, we can be aware of the population used to calculate the proportionality constants as well as the exact measure we are calculating. If we use the answer data to create new proportionality constants, we find that some body dimensions, such as trochanterian height, are actually very close to the Drillis and Contini constants. Measures such as hip breadth differ from the original study and are slightly divergent for men and women. When designs are created using percentiles, for example, designing around the 5th and 95th percentiles to accommodate the 90% between, it is important to have accurate estimates of the 5th and 95th percentile values. Using proportionality constants from any database results in inaccuracies when predicting segment lengths at the tails of a distribution. To compensate for this, boundary ratios or boundary constants are used. The ratios are created at percentile values of interest. In this case, since we are interested in leg length, the boundary ratio is created using the 5th percentile value for leg length divided by the 5th percentile value for stature. This method is not completely accurate for populations of extremely different demographics, but it can be more accurate than basic proportionality constants. Boundary constants and proportionality constants are two quick and simple options for synthesizing anthropometry. If you'd like to learn more about anthropometry, Please check out some of the papers linked in the video information. The next video will cover linear regression.